hey guys welcome back to my youtube channel easy motion designs and in today's video we are going to create this trippy text animation inside of after effects without using any third party plugin but with the help of simple tips and tricks inside of after effects and if you want to learn more about logo animation and motion graphic and other stuff then don't forget to check out my udemy courses links are available in the description and if you are new to this channel then please consider to subscribe this channel and also hit the bell icon to get more updates so without wasting any more time let's get started So here we are in Adobe After Effects. Let's create a new composition. We will call it as Main Animation. Width I'm going to choose 1920. Height I'm going to choose 180. Frame rate is 30 and duration is 10 second long and background color is black color and simply hit OK. Then go to choose Grid and Guide option and simply hit on Title Selection. Now I'm going to select my text tool and I'm going to type my text call Motion. Now select this text, press Ctrl Alt Home to align that anchor point to the center. Go to the Align tab, align it horizontally and then align it vertically. Press S for Scaling option and scale it somewhere around like this. Go to the Paragraph menu and make sure to choose the Center Text. Press Ctrl Alt Home to align that anchor point to the center and align its center like this. Now select this layer and convert this layer into 3D. Press R for Rotation and create one keyframe at Y position. Go to around uh, let's say 2 seconds maybe and let's make this rotation 180 like this. Then we will take a gap of 4 seconds. We will create another keyframe and then go to around 6 seconds and we will make it 360. So if you see we will get this kind of animation. Now select those keyframes and hit F9. Go to the graph editor. Select this graph. By holding shift we will move one handle over here and we will move one handle over here. So if you see this, we are going to get this kind of animation. Now minimize this. Now go to the start, select this motion and hit Ctrl D, hit U and we will delete this uh, rotation keyframes. And let's uh, disable this. And now let's type design over there like this. And then let's hide this just for now. Let's go somewhere around over here where this is going to be somewhere around like this. At this point, I'm going to select this motion layer. I'll press Ctrl Shift D to split this layer and we will hide this and we will disable the enable this design and let's go somewhere around over here around two seconds. And now I'm going to select this and I'll make it apparent with this third layer, which is this one. For the reference, we will change the color of this layer so we can easily get that this is a different layer and we will move this layer over here. So now if I see this animation, I'll get this kind of displacement. Similarly, as we go further, somewhere around at this point, hit page down button at this point, I'm going to select this uh, design layer and I hold Ctrl Shift D to split this layer and we will delete this. Then we will enable this motion layer, which is this one, and we will trim this up to this. So if I see this now, I'll get this animation first then I'll get this animation okay now select all of these layers and press ctrl shift c and we will call it as text and hit okay hit ctrl d up to three times so we'll get four copies select this fifth one go to the effect and presets panel and search for fill effect and double click to apply and change the color of this one to green select this third one apply fill effect change the color of this one to blue change the second one apply fill effect and change the color to red now hit page down button one time select this third layer with the help of open square bracket we'll move this over here go over here move this over here and move this over here so if you see we'll get this kind of stuff now go to the start select all of them and let's move it up to here so if you see this now we will get this kind of animation now select all of this layer press ctrl shift c to pre-compose this and let's call it as animation and hit ok press ctrl y to create one solid background go to the effect and presets panel and search for ramp effect and apply this gradient ramp select this press ctrl shift c and let's call it as ramp and hit ok and let's hide this 
now select this uh, animation layer go to the effect and presets panel and search for time displacement effect and double click to apply and in time displacement layer choose the ramp layer okay and uh, time resolution 60 and if layer size differ make sure to enable this icon okay and now if you hit play it will take a little bit time to load and over here also as you guys can see it's taking a little bit time to load but final output would be awesome right now i'm running this in quarter resolution only so we can easily see this dispersion effect over here like this okay now uh, let's uh, select uh, all of these layers and press ctrl shift c and let's call it as animation and hit ok hit ctrl d press s unlink this and let's make this minus 100 press p for position and let's bring this downwards okay because we want reflection okay now select this go to the rectangle tool and we are going to create one mask for this layer like this go to the mask option and increase the faders to 200 like this okay press ctrl y to create one solid background and apply fractal noise effect and double click to apply increase the contrast and uh, uh, let's uh, decrease the brightness complexity let's make this 10 uh, go to the transform unning this uniform scale increase the width and decrease the height let's make this width 1200 now select this press ctrl shift c and let's call it as fractal let's hide this select the second layer go to the effect and presets panel and search for compound blur effect and double click to apply and let's select this fractal layer so we will get this kind of stuff okay now after that right click new and create one null object select all of them and make it apparent with this null select this null press s uh, let's uh, initially let's make this scale 90 create one keyframe and let's go somewhere around 8 second and let's make this scale 100 like this now go to the start press p for position alt click on this position tab inside the type wiggle let's type 2 comma 2 so we along with this animation we will get a little bit of wiggle animation also okay now let's make this full resolution just for the start right click new and create one adjustment layer go to the effect and presets panel and search for glow effect and double click to apply it will take a little bit time to load because the effects we are using are quite heavy or let's uh, choose court resolution only so see and uh, we will increase the glow radius to 100 glow intensity to 0.5 and glow threshold to 90 okay so we are getting this kind of stuff so this is how you can create this kind of animation inside of after effects